domains characteristics of a domain it could have how many um, characters allowed values okay now this is one important point now allowed values the term is simply when I press F4 here you have noticed that what are the values I can put here and it will not accept anything so this field has a particular restriction it can contain this these values only now a domain can have this particular characteristics like if you double click on a domain there is a tab called value range if you click on the value range you will find that there is a container where you can put some existing values or else there is a field called value table now what is this value table doing suppose for this particular KNU NNR field Kunnar field if you like the earlier example if you want to put anything in this field it will not accept it the uh, how the process will go it will go and check in the value range table uh, that will be done, done in the runtime what it will check it will check in the value range table any values available or not to check with that uh, entry you have given or else it will go into this table and it will check whether that entry is already there in this table or not so if it matches then only it will accept otherwise it will not accept so that's what the value range tab can do for a particular specific domain you can uh, specify the particular uh, values of a particular field like this one like this one simply this one data class C at the back end whenever you just press F4 button or you, know, you press Z at the back end it is comparing with, with these values and those values are coming from some particular table or it could have some uh, value table also or uh, just let me check what is the, exactly the field name is what happened condition flag this is the domain I am going inside this domain value range C they have not mentioned table here what they have mentioned is that they have fixed the values like you can put A, C, L, G this kind of things if nothing is mentioned you can put anything if anything is mentioned this value should be strictly it should check these values it should check these values or it should check this table like this ok so what I have done to see this see if you need any information like delivery class this field is holding value A now what is this field I want to know just press F1 just press F1 anywhere you want to know this field press F1 just select this field and press F1 it will show you the performance assistance one screen and which holds the details related to this particular field delivery class what kind of a field it is and there is a button called technical button if you click that button it will show you the technical name of this field the technical structure name double click on it you can navigate to the particular table from which this field is coming like this so I'll